Gray is here on the Blaze yep. Radio Network. Mm-hmm. Welcome to it. Thanks for being with us. Uh, we're Pat Unleashed on X, Instagram, and Threads. X. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> so dumb. I know. So dumb. It just doesn't work well, does it? I mean, Twitter wasn't the ideal name. No, nah, but better we were than all X. used to it, and it became part of our culture. And the tweets and the Twitter, it worked. Mm-hmm. And now, X, send me an X on X. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Stupid. Yep. Stupid. And I feel dumb saying it, but I mean, that's the name of it now. So I don't know what to do. Call uh, Twitter. Dead name it. Just dead name it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, also, subscribe to our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Pat Gray. Subscribe, rate, and leave a podcast review on iTunes. Pat Gray Unleashed on podcast. With you know, Find us on Spotify or iTunes, wherever you get your your podcast. And don't forget the trick to the signing up uh, on YouTube is to click the bell. <laughs> So you get notified whenever something gets put up there. Okay. You know, like Chris is constantly doing stuff, Daniel, mm-hmm. the whole gang. Yep. So anyhow. Awesome. Uh, and if you've got a conspiracy you'd like us to track down, talk about, uh, have somebody on him about, um, we do that the last Friday of every month. Like this past Friday, we did the Young Earth Theory, which yeah. was Fun. I lot, thought it was interesting. A lot of good feedback on that from the audience. Yeah. Thank you. All. Oh, good. For all the other links you all sent as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah. It, what, what, so does did most people believe the Earth is uh, seven thousand years old? I don't recall I don't think so, people no. saying don't think so. that. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. they didn't convince anybody. But they enjoyed the not, show. Uh, yeah, I I enjoyed it. I just don't know I, that I uh, believe it. Huh. I don't know. You know, I've been pretty much hammered with the four and a half billion year old thing. Haven't we all? Yeah. And so, uh, yes, we all have. So, Chris, do you know on Friday, September 29th, what, what is the... Uh, do we have a, that figured out yet? No, we don't. Okay. S- September 1st, I should have it all figured out. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Right. So, so we, we don't we, we, we don't know we, what the September show is? Yeah, we've got uh, irons was, and many a fire right now. So some schedules are One of the things we're obviously considering is the Las Vegas shooting. Yeah, so yeah. We're, we're working with other people's schedules right now. So we're going to do that. It just may not be... Coming up. Okay. But you'll September. appreciate it if we don't get that one. We get the Sasquatch. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, okay. You'll All appreciate right. that. Oh, yeah, Pat mm-hmm. doesn't seem to be in on the Bigfoot. Oh, he does not. Nah, I don't I like it. Bigfoot. Yeah. Uh, You're a Bigfoot believer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's like monkeys. Uh-huh. It's like monkeys? <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. You mean? <laughs> the Bigfoot is everywhere. <laughs> okay. How come we, nobody's ever gotten a decent photo of he one? He doesn't like to be pictured. I see. Like, come on. Okay. Be shy. All right. If they're everywhere, though, you would think somebody somewhere along the way got a decent shot with an iPhone. But no? No. I guess not. <laughs> and I, I, I've watched these shows a few times, and then it just gave up because they never find anything. Oh, uh, we're going out to look for the actual Sasquatch. We're going to oh. find the Sasquatch this Uh-oh. time. And they never... Come close to it. I and, think you know they do all these yeah. dumb things that lead you. To, oh, oh, is that something? Nope, it's not. It's nothing. It's a deer. Oh, okay. This is going to make September 29th even more awesome because by the time we're done, Pat, who is obviously a skeptic mm-hmm. right now, will yeah. be all in. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so conspiracies at theblaze.com. You can email us with your idea if you'd like us. To tackle uh, some conspiracy. And by the way, if you need wholesome meals without the planning, shopping, or the prep, Factor has you covered. With dietitian approved meals, ready in just two minutes, you get 50% off at factormeals.com slash pat50. Factormeals.com slash pat50. Uh, oh, we got to get to the, uh, the bingo card, too. Mm-hmm. Brand new bingo card okay. uh, this week. And when you get a bingo, you just call us at 888-900-3393 to get $30 worth of merchandise from patgrayshop.com and the tw- the dozen uh, Kexi cookies nice. from kexi.com. Uh, said the quiet part out loud is the upper left-hand square. Then we have Jeffy. Uh, humans first. Humans first. Uh, count on a sawmiller's hand. You can count on a sawmiller's hand. <laughs> Really weird expression. I love it. Just had that was, what, three weeks ago or Uh something? Out with my real ones. (laughs) Then we have 
Right? Right? Oh, that'll probably happen like nine times a day. I bet we say that uh-huh. way more than we realize. Uh-huh. We have something. We, we have to do something. Anything. Mm-hmm. Then we have... Come on, Ted. <laughs> Come on, Ted. <laughs> Keith says... See what I did there? Uh-huh. Uh, then the Hell 9000 computer. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that. One God. of the coolest things of all time. Yeah. A computer from 2001. Uh, Jeffy shares a life hack. Uh, then we have uh, Michelle Obama. You got it right there. Oh, just hit yeah. play. Right. Let me tell you something. For the first time in my adult life, Ugh. I am proud of my country. Oh, <sighs> Still, it boggles my mind to this day. I mean, that was like 14 years ago she said that. It's incredible to me that nobody cared. People like her. Nobody could. They love her. Mm-hmm. She's got like 70% approval. She she probably tests better than any other person. Um you know, that's high profile like that. <laughs> uh, playoffs. <laughs> Inmates are running the asylum. Mm-hmm. It's just that easy. That's not my concern. Oh, it's not my concern. Thank you, Mike mm-hmm. Pence. Uh, who's been terrible. Seriously, <laughs> terrible. Uh, he was terrible in the uh, the family summit. He was terrible in the debates. He just... He's done. He's done. It's a, it's a waste. His candidacy is a complete waste. You suck. You hate America. You didn't win. You suck. You hate America. And you didn't win the election. Get over it. So oh, great. you skipped mine. I say uh, there's a lot going on. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I? And I don't care for it. Okay. That's okay. the square before the word. Right, right. Then we got did. a Jeffy yeah. line. Uh, don't look at me like that. Oh, he'll probably direct that early mm-hmm. on on Wednesday. Then we had this uh, very, very uh, recently. Hey, Bob Casey. John Fetterman. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It gets worse every time I hear it. Oh, hey, so Bob bad. Casey. John Fetterman. Also, uh, on the frozen tundra of Lambo Field, Bronco Nagurski played the second half without his lower torso. Wow. Or something. To they don't make effect. them like that. Anymore. No, they don't. No, nope. turf toe puts them out for the season. That's right. You're an injured reserve for the whole year if you got turf toe. Wow. <laughs> uh, BYU could win it all if. Uh, also, Pat mentions turf toe. Oh, God. What an amazing, <laughs> what an amazing coincidence! It doesn't count because uh-huh. that's part of the explanation of uh-huh. the bingo card. Just so you know. Uh, China is not an enemy. Uh, China's not an enemy. Right, right. Mm. No, they're a good, close, personal friend and ally of ours. Uh, Keith mentions... Uh, oh, Nebraska topography. And, uh, yeah, they're leaving to sell facial cream, mm-hmm. which we really need to make a bigger part of the show again, because I love it. <laughs> I, just, I love it. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, the week has begun, and uh, the... Joe Biden nonsense is yeah. in full force, as it always is. He's still in Lake Tahoe. Can you believe that? Yeah, he extended he, his trip. He extended his... Well, because he spent, what, 15 minutes in Maui last week. Oh, uh, he had to make up for that. Had to make up for that. I see. Yeah. So, obviously, you got to extend uh-huh. the vacation another week. He went out to chat with reporters and was booed by the locals. <laughs> Something like this. Yeah, beat it, old man. I've been talking to the UAW. Obviously, I'm concerned. I think that there should be a certain thing for jobs that are being displaced. Wow. Nice reception. They should go to the first choice, should go to the UAW member who had the job, and the salary should be commensurate. That's really something. That's really something. (laughs) How about that? How about it? 81 million, though. Yeah, 81 million mm-hmm. votes. I mean, the most in the history of the Incredible. world, Keith. I mean, the man is beloved, as you just noticed there, no mm-hmm. doubt. <laughs> man. Uh, that's, that's good stuff. Um, also, on Friday, we had the Young Earth show that we mentioned, so we didn't get to the discussion of Trump's mugshot until overtime, really. Look at that. If you remember correctly, here's the mug shot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Iconic, man. We're going to see that forever. So Biden was asked over the weekend if he'd seen it. Oh. 
Have you president. seen Donald Trump's mugshot yet? Mr. President, are you worried at all about that? You're still booed. I've seen it on television. What'd you think? Handsome guy. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome guy. <laughs> Handsome guy. I mean, that's a decent comment. I like that. He okay. handled that better than I've seen him handle anything else in probably his entire hmm. presidency. Okay. Well. That's, a, that's the first time I haven't been really pissed off when he opened his mouth. Okay. Well. Handsome guy. I mean, that's a, what are you going to say about his mugshot? You could be worse than that for sure. So, um, uh, he sure could have. Yeah. You're right. That's yes. probably the best moment of his presidency right there. It was. It, it's like the singing moment for Barack Obama <laughs> when, when he sang that Al Green song. Uh-huh. <laughs> so there you go. go and buddy. that was the only one I could think of. I mean, that, and I think he wanted to expand the NCAA playoff uh, situation, right? <laughs> he was in favor of that. And so those are the two things okay. uh, from his presidency in eight years that I liked. And then, well, hold on. A third one. Uh, when he left office on yeah, January well, 20th. Yes, yes, that's the obvious. 2017. The greatest one that of was the all highlight. time. That was high watermark. He just built it all the way up uh-huh. to the very end. Uh-huh. And then finally, we had to wait eight years for it, but it finally came. Mm-hmm. See ya! <laughs> and he's been... And he's back, basically, right he, now. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. he's rolling in the dough, too. By the way, there's an alternate <laughs> theory out there of who the big guy is. And oh, it's, that is it's it Barack Obama? Obama. Barack freaking Obama. Huh, really? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. It's an yeah. interesting theory. Yep. Could well be. I don't know. It's his White House where they were laundering all this money or making mm-hmm. all this money. Mm-hmm. Say. All the money. <laughs> At some point, he's he hasn't made enough money because he still continues to bring it in. Man, he and Michelle are doing nicely. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. They're doing nicely. They've got three beautiful multi multi million dollar homes. They got a hundred million dollar deal from Netflix, and they're doing what with it? What yeah. have they done? Well, they're what down, have they produced? They're they're down one <laughs> chef though. <laughs> they are so, down a chef. <laughs> they may need to <laughs> go look. And I wonder what happened yeah, there. Are we ever going to find out what happened there? The official <laughs> report came out and said that he drowned. Uh, so what more do you want? Uh, what more do I want? You're That's right. a good question, Chris. Thank you for asking it. What more do you want, Keith? <laughs> Um, what do you want a reasonable explanation? Is that what you want? I want to know. I want to know which Obama oh, family member killed him. That's what I want to know. Okay, so so he had uh, Joe Biden had. I a doubt nice... somebody in the family did it. I seriously think doubt it. They yeah. can easily hire that action out. <laughs> I'm available. Yeah. Wait. Uh, so you uh-huh. you just pointed out how Joe Biden had a nice thing to say about Donald Trump's mugshot. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, not the only guy to get a compliment from Joe oh, over the weekend. Good. We had a Mel reporter. You who, have pointed this out so many it times. It is so bizarre. It's creepy. And here he is. Okay. How are you with the I'll tell you, if I had your biceps, I'd feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Hey, everybody, we have to make okay. It's Truly, so <laughs> weird. Uh huh. It is Why a creepy, doing? weird. I mean, uh, if that's your sexual preference, fine, but. Um, what? Why so, are you married to a woman then? Because he is always so talking about guys' muscles. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, so your muscles are so big. The male reporter asks a question. Oh. Joe Biden responds, "You know, if I'd be doing better if I had your biceps." And then listen to it. We're gonna play it again. You got to listen. Okay. His handler, Biden's handler, realizes. Okay, we got to wrap this up. Let's yeah, go. we're going to the bicep thing again. Let's go. All right, that's enough. Here we go. Okay. Okay. How are you I'll tell you, if I had your biceps, I'd feel better. Okay, everybody, we have to make you Okay, truly, thank you. Okay, <laughs> truly, thank you. The only we thing he go. didn't do, because he wasn't close enough, mm-hmm. was to squeeze those biceps while he's saying it. <laughs> and the other thing he, he forgot was, oh, you look like you played football mm-hmm. for a football team that's good <laughs> and won games. I don't know what one that would be because I don't know any. But Except for the one he played on. You got great muscles. <laughs> Did you play for Delaware? That's the only school I know because it was in my state. I didn't really go there, but it was. I know about it. <laughs> you could have played at Navy, am I right? I could have, except Roger Staubach yeah. went. So 
I don't know why that crushed it, it, my yeah. dreams. Had you there. blocked on the roster from Had a different position? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't he. Uh, he was a wide receiver. Seems like Roger Staubach would have been a great addition to the team because there's somebody who would throw to him as the wide receiver. But no, no, it didn't work out that way. So all right, whatever. Uh, he was asked if he'll sit down with special counsel investigating Hunter. Are you planning to sit for an interview with the special counsel looking into the documents matter? Uh, there's no such request and no, no such interest. Thanks, guys. No such interest. No such request and no such, no such interest. interest. Now recall, previously, <laughs> Jeez. the Hunter attorney said that he would absolutely put Joe under questioning. And then, of course, he just... Uh, left the case mm. once the special counsel got assigned. So, yep, he's gone now. I swear, I swear if this family gets away with all this crap. No kidding. Yeah, I think they probably will. <sighs> I think they will. I also love how his handler is uh-huh. trying to Constantly, shut it after down every after question. every single question. She's that lady okay, behind guys. him. Okay, guys. Okay. All right. Shut up. The old man's babbled enough for one sitting. Shut up. <laughs> he was asked about the spike in COVID cases. Okay. Mr. President, Pay attention. Can you say anything about the uptick of COVID cases and the uptick. new variant? Yes, I can. As a matter of fact, mm-hmm. I signed off this morning on a proposal we have to present to the Congress a uh, request for additional funding for a new vaccine. Oh, that good. Not necessary. That works. <laughs> and tentatively, not decided finally yet, tentatively, it is recommended that it would like to be recommended that everybody get it. What he's pushing the vaccine again? Yeah, he's pushing a new variant vaccine coming to a health clinic near you. Oh my gosh! Uh, Oh, oh, they are Um, absolutely ready to rock and roll on this. No. Mm -hmm. How about no? Okay, that's a real firm, strong no. But he just talked about the uptick. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's upticked to the point of a molehill. Yeah, Have so. you seen it? It's not even a mountain. Uh huh. It's a molehill. It's a molehill. Yeah. It not, might not even be molehill size, but it's an uptick. Yep. It's a. What do we have? Three new cases or something? There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Far right. There it is. Woo! Oh my. Is that. That's an uptick, bro. Is that. That's an uptick. Mount Kilimanjaro? <laughs> <laughs> I now last week I exaggerated and said it was Mount Everest. Uh-huh. It, it's more like Kilimanjaro. Okay. Don't you think? No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to Google mountain heights to get the joke. But uh, it's somewhat smaller okay. than uh, Mount okay. Everest. All right. All right. <laughs> I swear okay. these people have it planned out for you. They have every. Yeah. Aspect yep. of your life planned out for you. They do. And we're going to get into the uptick later and, and how places are responding. But Americans, this is, I mean, the next two weeks it's crazy. are going to be vitally important for you in your life. Yeah, you're going to have to say no to this garbage. Yep. You're just going to have to say no. we got to be strong and really firm and united yeah. on this. Let's be united on it and just tell them no before you even get rolling with this mandate mm-hmm. BS no. And it's already We're working. We're not doing it. It's already working in some places. Yeah, it You'll is. You'll be surprised if we get to it later. We're not doing it. We're just not doing it. And you know what? Uh, the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, are trying to establish uh, a new currency that uh, supersedes the U.S. dollar. Uh, they want to back it fully by gold, supposedly. Uh, this is part of their long-term pl- plan. Um, to get rid of the U.S. dollar as the cornerstone of the global financial system. So, how do you protect your IRA or 401k from the fallout of this landmark announcement? Diversify with gold from Birch Gold Group. Historically, gold has been a safe haven in times of high uncertainty, and that's right now. So, get a free info kit on gold IRAs and decide for yourself if a tax-sheltered retirement account backed by physical precious metals is right for you. Text the word PAT to 989898. Go through the information and make your decision. I think you'll find that it makes a lot of sense to make it part of your portfolio. There's a monumental shift happening among the nations that control one-third of the world's GDP. Arm yourself with information to protect your retirement savings. 
Text Pat to the number 989898. Claim your free info kit from Birch Gold. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Oh, no. So, have more? Uh, Biden uh, wrapped up oh. his little, I guess, impromptu news conference. Okay. Seemed a little confused there at the end. A joke? Confused? It's surprising. Yeah, it's really surprising. See if you're blown away here okay. by what happens. <clears throat> Thank you all so very much. All right. all right, where do I go? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> more booing. Where are we going? And the booing resumes. He acts like he hadn't heard that earlier. Like he acts like that was a, a new reaction to his presence. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. Yeah. And, and uh, close they your mouth, it up a way. lot, too. Yeah. Oh, no, the, he can't. He can't close he his can't. mouth. He's, that's what super Look old people do. Thank you all so much. That's what they do. Uh, sorry. That's, maybe that's stereotypical. <laughs> okay. but. And then he acts like it's the first time he heard the booing. <laughs> Close your mouth, Mr. Dementia. Ugh. Somebody should always be telling him that. But they're probably afraid to, because I guess he goes off, like, uh, at the spur of the moment on these on his aides and his staff. Give it five minutes, he'll forget that you even had the conversation yeah, with him. Yeah, he will. He will, that's true. Apparently, you, you're not anybody unless he's screamed at you for one reason or another. Oh, that's cool. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So before he left the White House, he recorded a presentation, <laughs> though, about his economic plan for America. You're not going to sit through all this. Oh, I promise man. you. You'll give uh, what? 30 seconds in. You're you're saying I'm not going to love this? Yeah, honestly, we're only huh. playing this for the first 30 seconds Okay. because, boy, has it inspired a lot of memes, <laughs> many from this audience, because when you leave an idiot like Joe Biden in front of a blank slate, a whiteboard, mm-hmm. as you will see here, then the audience, of course, had a lot of fun with it. But let's okay. watch this insanity. This is so stupid. I want to share with you my economic vision to grow our economy from the middle out. Pause the it for a second. <laughs> you start it over. I want to. Sh- I want to share with you my comic vision. His comic vision. <laughs> <laughs> he can't yeah. say economic or no. didn't. I want to share with you my comic. It's comic vision. vision. <laughs> okay, let's hear your comic vision for, for the future. <laughs> I want to share with you my economic vision to grow our economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not yeah. the top down. See, we've seen enough already. Trickle down economics is the belief that we should cut taxes for the he wealthy. He can't say economic. No. And expect it to trickle down to everyone else. No. That we should shrink public investment mm-hmm. in roads, bridges, and water systems, what and airports, and public about? education. Pause it for a sec. Who said we should shrink our investment in roads? Is anybody, you know, is that really anybody's platform? Yeah. The Republicans are clamoring for that every day. You know what we need to do mm-hmm. is shrink our commitment to roads. I don't want any more roads. We've got too many roads. Yeah. We need to cut back on roads. Okay. Well, Nobody's saying that. Well, I mean, that's that's why I can't land on a candidate myself. Because as you know, <laughs> I have yeah. four... Four litmus tests, right? Okay. Uh, it's, right. It's funding it was Ukraine. just three on Friday. Now yeah. it's four. Now it's four. It's, okay. it's funding Ukraine. Ukraine. It's the vaccine, vaccine stuff and all the mandates. Right. It's the smashing the agencies like the CIA and the FBI. Smash agencies. And if I can't find a candidate, so help me, that will say no more roads in America, <laughs> then you're done, right? I'm going to have to write somebody. Yeah. That's a deal breaker, too, the no more roads. Yeah, i got to yeah. find a no more roads candidate. I think candidate. me it is as well. Yeah. I'm tired of roads. Yeah. I'm just tired of them. <laughs> I like the challenge. <laughs> Of getting to work. Me too. Me too. And now we don't have it. There's too much paved over ground can in I, this city. Can I just take a quick moment for an aside here? And, and let's just step into Seriousville. You got to find mm-hmm. a place where the roads aren't paved. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. dead serious. Mm-hmm. My son and I spent a lot of time out west a couple of weeks ago in Colorado, Utah. You got to find places. Google Maps will find them for you. I mean, you may not have a oh, really? signal once you get to them, but... Find a place where the roads aren't paved if you really want to experience nature and the beauty of America. Yeah, because people right. don't like yeah. drive down gravel or dirt roads. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I'm good. sorry, I had to, I just step aside there just for a moment and just a PSA there. Go okay. enjoy America while you still can, y'all. There, there's not that many left anymore, really. When I was a kid, we had all kinds of places in Montana where there were dirt roads. Yeah, and you'd travel down them and. 
it'd be isolated mm-hmm. and you know it, there wasn't a ton of people around right I, it doesn't exist as much yeah we, we we drove over 200 miles on roads at like you know 10 miles an hour really and it was it was such that an experience like fun. such a great trip yeah, but and, that was great. and i spent a lot of time in nebraska as you know and mm-hmm. Way out west. What's the topography like, like there? Well, that's what I was getting at. I was okay. gonna, I was gonna get there. Uh-huh. I was gonna say the topography of Western Nebraska. Uh-huh. A lot of people don't realize it's almost like a little mini Rocky Mountains when you get right. near I Scotts mean, Bluff. Real mini, well, right? I like mean, super, super mini. But taller Rocky than the uptick in COVID cases. <laughs> <laughs> the bluffs out there. Are they really? Yeah. Wow, a, that's pretty high there. Because yeah. that's a big uptick. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the uptick's so, like. Either like Mount Kilimanjaro or K two. It's it's one of those two mountains. One of them. Yeah. One you of can't. Them. You can't. Figure I can't. Out which one? It's no. Closer to. I, I can't. No. <laughs> but I just know it's huge. I know yeah. that. So honestly, his little economic vision was three minutes of Marxism. Okay. That's all it was. Let's hear more oh, Marxism. No. Oh, what no. the heck? Let's see what okay. he has. Okay. Give it to us. Well, when put into well, practice, triple look how on bad he is. Sale, living. Blew up the deficit. Increased inequity. And weaken the infrastructure. He has no idea what he's reading, by the way. Inequity. And it made it harder for folks to get to the middle class. Yeah. That's until now. Oh. Oh. Oh, look, okay. he's going to flip now. it over. It's now. dramatic. So Bidenomics. By yeah, give me that class and making things dry erase America. marker, and I'll show you some you magic. Make the wealthy pay their fair share. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Pause it for a second. <laughs> this Marxist class warfare thing drives me out of my mind. Yeah. The wealthy not paying their fair share. God, how many times are you Marxists going to turn to that BS argument? They pay almost the entire share. The 1% of this country that are wealthy, the wealthiest 1% pay over 50. I think it's 51 now. 51% of the load, of the tax load. Is that not fair? It's not to them. But is that not fair to the other 99%? Really, you expect them to pay more than 51%? God, I just can't take it. (laughs) I can't take the top 10% pay over 90% of the taxes. So you're done with this clip, right? No, I can't. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Is there more? Uh, there's more. I don't think. Is there more you, than drive me on? I, I, yeah, I'll lose I my mind. You will. You will. But you I'll know what? We mind. took advantage. Uh, this audience. Gosh. Um, I, I provided the the still shot of Joe Biden in front of the whiteboard. There you go. Mm-hmm. So there's a clean slate there for oh, you to nice. do whatever you want to. Nice. And I will say, uh, uh, <laughs> under Pat Unleashed on Twitter, you will see the efforts of your classmates mm-hmm. here on the show. Many great. I mean, I love the hammer and sickle one. Whoever put that up. Uh, I mean, I put here's where I, I got the ball rolling with with my offering here. Okay. Uh, there you go. I'm a decrepit, corrupt, lying Marxist pedo who stole our your country. Yeah, there you go. And then just to <laughs> muck and fudge, uh, she put the uh, okay. bingo card. For oh, nice. That great bingo so is he play, he's playing it this week. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> He's totally listening, getting good ideas. But anyway, lots of great. Uh, so I would encourage great. you guys to go to yes, Pat Unleashed do. on Twitter. I mean, y'all really hit it out of the park a lot of times. So, uh, By the way, breaking news, the White House finally responded to why uh, Joe Biden said no comment when uh, he was asked about Maui. Okay. Okay. It took two weeks to come up with the reason. <laughs> More than that, right? Uh it's been three now. It's been three Tomorrow, weeks. Tomorrow, the fire started okay, it's, tonight, right, you're uh, right. three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Okay, it took him three weeks to come up with... Uh, yeah, he, he didn't hear the question. Didn't hear the question. Didn't. Okay. It took you three weeks oh, okay. to tell us he couldn't hear the question? That's that's what you okay. came up. That's what you brainstormed. You guys sat around. You're like, what is it? Well, how can we get him out of this? this? this I mean, yeah. that was so so unfeeling, uncaring, yeah. un-American. How do we? What if we say he just didn't hear the question? That's good. Write that one down. Yeah, let's okay, use that one. Let's kick that around for a while. Run <laughs> that up the flagpole. We'll circle back in about a week and a half, two weeks, maybe three <laughs> weeks from now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. Try harder. I <laughs> think. Yeah. Please. Triple eight nine hundred thirty three ninety three. More Pat Gray Leash coming up. Pat Gray Unleashed.
Great to have you with us. Thanks for being here. 888-900-3393. Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Oliver Klusov uh, tweets, Biden says he's pushing a new vaccine that works. Yes, right. I thought. Yeah, we didn't uh, spend enough time on that. So what's he inferring there? So he finally admits the other one didn't work? <laughs> yeah, sure. We believe you this time. Uh, play that clip again, because listen to this. Cut. Mr. President, can you say anything about the uptick of COVID cases? Uptick! Uptick! Yes, I can. As a matter of fact, I signed off this morning on a proposal we have to present to the Congress a uh, request for additional funding for a new vaccine that is necessary, that works. Ah, yep, that works. Generally, yep. Not decided finally. Yet. Okay, Generally, we got it. For a new vaccine that works. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess you would infer from that that the current vaccines don't, right? Boy. And that's fact- incredible. Which they don't, by the way. They don't work. They don't stop you from getting infected with, with COVID-19. Yeah. In fact, uh, CDC admits now COVID infection could be more likely among vaccinated individuals. Oh, my gosh. Really? Oh, I swear. That's good stuff. This is the... That's good stuff. How is this government... You, you can't make it up. I mean, if you made this up, yeah. they would say you're lying, you're you're uh, disseminating mm-hmm. misinformation, disinformation. I, and it's... I mean, the reality, it's like we talked about last week with the guys from Babylon B. It is so hard <laughs> mm-hmm. to do satire mm-hmm. on the news right now because it's stranger than real li- than than fiction. Yep. The real life mm-hmm. is stranger than the fictionalized uh, satire you could come up with. Incredible. Yeah, just an amazing. Uh, Devin Crossley tweets, The uptick is so big, I was zooming in to see the chart. My phone can't zoom close enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how big it is. Let's see that uptick again. Uh, Joe, can we get the uptick? Does it fit on one screen? Okay. Oh, barely. Yeah, yeah just barely it does. Um <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. Uptick. Yeah, it's so great. In the house. Look at that. I mean, okay. it's nothing. It's true. It is nothing to even, we shouldn't even be talking about no, it. No, no. Honestly, six months ago, they decided that's going to be the storyline. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't care what. Yeah. In the summer, we're going to tell yeah. them there's an uptick. Uptick, yeah. Just as we're getting ready for the fall but what season if, what, and the what election. What if it's not discernible? What if yeah, we can't well, tell? Well, We'll just keep saying it, yeah. and we won't show the we won't actually show the graph, which is why you have the push for <clears throat> more testing, more testing, more tans- test because they yeah. want yeah. the opportunity to say there are more cases. They'll be sending you free free test kits, home test kits again. Yeah, you can pretty much take that to the bank because they want you to be tested, and uh, I think most people are just not interested in doing that again or anymore. Uh, Patrick Henry Senior tweets. Let's not forget when Obama's chef drowned, the toxicology report was unavailable because they lost his blood sample. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> nah, there's nothing to see here. Now nah, move along. Move along. So what? That I mean, that happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Losing toxicology reports. <clears throat> Where's my pudding? He didn't tell the booing people not to jump. Yeah, at least there oh, is that. He's making progress. At least there is that. All right, Joe. From abnormal, Biden was trying to say his commie vision, not economic. <laughs> oh, commie vision. So it's not comic. He's saying, I see. My commie, here's my commie vision for the, for the commies. Uh-huh. For us commies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bertating Bertation tweets, Pat, support, Pat supports the no more roads candidates because he fears one building uh, being built between his and Keith's house. Yeah, well, that's true. That is true. So that's why you no I more see. roads. That's I mean, that's why. one of the many reasons. But oh, that's a, that's a solid out. one. That's a solid one. Silent Commander, the Joe Biden Memorial Highway, a dirt road that <laughs> wanders aimlessly through Montana. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what fun we're having with oh, this administration, though. It's aren't good we? times. It's uh, good times. Eric Swalwell jumped up and. Defended the president. Okay. Because he's I bet this so is a, good. I bet this is going to be a forceful defense. <laughs> yep. Because there's so much to, to defend when it comes to Joe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wait, what is this? This isn't it at all. No. <laughs> that looks like a now, fire. Now, if that were Eric Swalwell, he'd have bigger problems. Yeah. 
Okay, you can actually take that off now. Yeah, that'll be for some other thing for some the, other time. The clip. Uh, we're looking at clip eight here. Mm. Uh, Eric Swalwell defends okay. Biden. <clears throat> Cut eight, and it goes a little something. Okay, so I guess it goes it's nothing not, like that. Yeah, actually, it goes guess we have like a that. corrupted file then. No, okay. so. So do you remember what it was? What you um, said? Boy, it's so crazy how people on the right are going after Joe Biden. It's crazy. He's good. That's <laughs> it's about that I way. I summed it up. It's about the gist of it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to say to defend the guy? It's about that bad. What are you going to say? <laughs> I haven't uh. seen bad stuff from Joe. It's like that. Yeah. What are you talking about? Lots of employment going on. Well, yeah. Okay. The unemployment rate is low. I will say that. Uh huh. That's probably the one thing you can say. And that's only because, you know, all the jobs came back after the pandemic uh, lockdown stopped. Well, then, yeah. Uh huh. Then you had more jobs. How is Eric Swalwell still in the U.S. Congress? I, I don't know. That's baffling. That really is. Yeah. You spend two years sleeping with a Chinese spy and, <sighs> ah, whatever. Keep him on the Intelligence Committee. Keep him in Congress. Don't even censure him. Nothing. Yeah, and, and, great. and I, I'm surprised, though, that one of the things in that swallow <laughs> clip that you're just going to take our word for it was just so mm-hmm. good. Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't defend Joe Biden's border policies. Because we have They're this good. news report. His policies are really good. Right, right. So mm-hmm. check out. It's actually worse. We're going to play this clip, a news report from <clears> the border. <throat> Listen to what she's saying, and I'll explain how it's actually worse than the report shows you. Okay. The Tucson sector are seeing the most migrant apprehensions in a single day this week, making it the busiest sector, and it's in part because of this. The floodgates are literally open here in the Tucson sector, and there are 141 different gates along the southern border, and the majority of those are open, and the majority of those are open by the federal government. So we talk about how busy the Tucson sector is, and they do this every single year. So what's the problem? Well, the Tucson sector is known for gotaways, for people trying to evade law enforcement, so they're not generally coming through an open door. Well, now they are, and they're doing it by the hundreds. Just this morning, within a matter of hours, Border Patrol telling us it's nonstop. 250 migrants in just two and a half hours here in this sector. Again, a sector, Kelly, that doesn't deal with people coming over Hmm. and self-surrendering to Border Patrol agents, but that is what's happening. 1,600 in a single day here. (laughs) Okay. So you want to know why it's worse than what you just saw depicted there? Uh Uh-huh. It's because apparently it's being reported by people who've gone down there to see those gates for themselves that those gates have been welded open, not welded shut. Again, back to what you constantly say, Pat, if you were trying Mm -hmm. to destroy this country. What what would you do differently? What would you do differently? You don't have to do anything differently. It's... It's been it's done perfectly. <laughs> this is insane. Jeez. This is absolutely insane. And we talked about how they're God, auctioning off darn it. the the stuff that Trump wanted to build the wall with that was rusting down there. Yeah. And but, but to try to sell it off and make it disappear before the Republicans can get successfully passed uh, funds to go and start using those materials to build the wall. Mm-hmm. They got support in the Senate, and so Democrat this administration said, "Oh crap." It's actually going to happen. They're going to they're going to pass border wall funding through the House and Senate. Uh, let's uh, sell those auction those uh, parts off, mm. and then we don't have to worry about it. Uh, well, maybe Eric Swalwell has the explanation. For this Congress all, started with all of threats it. of impeaching Secretary Mayorkas, and then it was FBI Director Christopher Wray, and then Merrick Garland, mm-hmm. uh, and now Joe Biden. And, and by the way, Eamon, one day he's sleepy Joe, the next day he's corrupt Joe. I know people who are sleepy. I know people who are corrupt. I don't know anyone who is both. These guys just know that they are reflexively anti what? anything Biden's doing, whether it's for the economy, whether it's for global security over in Ukraine. And so it shows in the clownish way uh, that they're behaving. This con- yeah, okay. forceful. Ah, it's right? powerful. Yeah. Uh, he's sleepy. He doesn't know anybody sleepy and corrupt. Uh, so that's a good defense. That was him. good, right? Uh, that's a good, powerful uh, defense of uh, Joe Biden. Now, getting back to the immigration <laughs> thing, <laughs> yeah. you've got to see Kathy Hochul, the governor of New York. Uh-huh. My gosh, if you want... I, I, Is there a problem? I would say you'd be enraged by her request here, mm-hmm. but I forgot how many enraging clips we've yet to get to in the stack today. 
because it's a rough one, and we haven't even hardly gotten started. But you've got to okay. see this. Uh, remember, remember, New York State, New York City, they advertise themselves as sanctuary cities, sanctuary states. Come here, illegals. Yeah, they and had so no problem with it. Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis, uh, Governor <laughs> Ducey in Arizona for a time before he left office, were like, okay, mm -hmm. here you go. Here are our illegals. And now, of course, they're, they're crying foul. Listen to Kathy Hochul. This is uh, vomitous. That's why today I have sent a letter to President Biden formally requesting immediate executive action in four key areas. First, huh. expedited huh. work authorization so we can get these people out of shelters and into the jobs. Financial support for federal housing vouchers, <laughs> schools, health care, legal services, case management, and shelter for us to provide to these asylum seekers. Uh -huh. The use of more federal facilities to construct new temporary shelters mm -mm. Good, and okay. reimbursement mm. for the cost of our National Guard, which have been on the ground oh, really? at these shelters throughout the state Too since bad. last year. You wanted this. Yep. You got it. This is your problem. Yeah. And taxpayers like you and me here in Texas and border states that have been funding the illegal uh, swamping of our borders for decades. Mm -hmm. We've already been paying through the nose locally. <clears throat> We're not going to pay through the nose federally any more than we have already been doing. Remember we had the Colonel General guy clip last Friday, uh, last week? Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about how we give 2200 bucks a month mm -hmm. federal, federal tax dollars to illegals. No, yeah. you, they got enough. We're done here. Kathy, this is on you. You wanted this in your state. You got it. You deal with it. That's why you've been uh, a, an area of sanctuary for all these years, because you're in love with illegal immigration. Well, now you get a taste of it, of what it's like, just a, in a teeny, tiny little taste of what it's like to be a border state and have them flood across your border and in such numbers that you just have no idea what to do with them all. What do we do? <laughs> it's expensive. It's dangerous, and it's it's costing us our sovereignty. And you don't like it once it happens to you, do you? That's why, again, such a brilliant move on behalf of, of Greg Abbott, and a lot of people are pissed at him <laughs> for a number of reasons. But on this, man, this was a brilliant move. Sure was. Absolutely brilliant, because it did exactly what he intended for it to do. It woke them up in New York and uh, on uh, Martha's Vineyard right. and all of these places that are so, oh, we're above all of that. You people in Texas nauseate us. <laughs> I can't believe you don't like these little people that are coming across the border. <laughs> oh. all right. To the point where you've got New Yorkers railing against their state and local government saying, yep. Enough. Remember right. Staten Island Deborah from last week? You yeah. suck, you hate America, and you didn't win the election. Get over it. <laughs> she said that to Joe Biden at one of these anti-immigration rallies. Oh, my gosh. It's just great. That's great. All right, let me take a minute and, uh, and speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Babies in their mother's womb. Preborn is truly doing the work of God as they save babies and they love mothers. Because of your generosity... Preborn's network of clinics has rescued over 200,000 babies. And how do they do that? By introducing the mothers to their babies through the ultrasound. Preborn offers and they receive, they receive no government funding. Uh, so they're completely dependent upon us. Together, we're building an army of life to stand against the principalities of darkness if everybody listening today sponsored just one ultrasound for $28, we could change the world. To donate securely, just go to preborn.com slash pat. That's preborn.com slash pat. Or you could dial pound 250 and say the keyword baby. Pound 250, keyword baby. All gifts are tax deductible. So maybe consider a corporate donation or appreciated stock as the market is up. Uh, you can use your... Write-offs to save precious babies' lives. You'll never regret saving a defenseless baby's life. Go to preborn.com slash pat today. That gray is unleashed. You know, on that immigration front, 
Did you see where Joe Biden's Department of Justice is suing Elon Musk's SpaceX because of the sin of only hiring American citizens to work there? Um, yeah, yeah, didn't didn't hire refugees and asylum seekers, and huh. uh, the DOJ wants wants Elon Musk's SpaceX to give full back pay to non citizens that they chose not to hire. This is a bizarro clown show. What is this? Since it's it's illegal to knowingly hire right illegals, and not only that, but wow. like on NASA's website, it says you can only hire um, American citizens. For for these yeah. kind of jobs, in fact, unbelievable, Elon man. Musk's That's mom, unbelievable. she tweeted out like she she wasn't even allowed to, right? Am I am I right? She when she visited down there because she's not a citizen, she couldn't uh, enter the premises. Mm. I mean, incredible. This is we are living incredible under an absolute terror right now, a Marxist regime mm -hmm. that is you cannot win with this group that's in power right now. Did we write down some of the names that people suggested last? After I suggested uh, Dementia Garky, mm. there were some other really uh, good yeah. uh, suggestions that we can use. Um, uh -huh. Not have to dig those back no, up. No, we had the uh, the thumbnail there for uh, Pat Gray Unleashed that day. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find... Oh, you know, it's probably on my phone here from... Uh, here we go. It's uh, Fossil Garky. Fossil Garky. Mm -hmm. Geriatric... Uh, geri oh. ger geriatocracy. <laughs> uh, oligarchy. <laughs> and then, of course, dementia garky. Okay, that's what we're living under. Good, and it sucks. Yep. It, uh, it's not. It's not ideal. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I will say on. this. I was telling Keith and and Chris a few minutes ago uh, about Joe Biden, and I came to the realization I don't really like him. That's where you landed. Yeah, that's where I landed. I came right oh. down there, and I I don't know <laughs> if that's you know come through in the broadcast at all, but I it just hit me. <laughs> just hit you. I don't really like him. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah, I don't appreciate the job that he has done. No, you're right. I mean, there's a lot going on, huh. and yeah. I, I don't care for it. Yeah, I don't care for it at all. And, uh, and I think it I all bet that surprises back to him. some people, you know, because I'm sure it seems like, you know, we're pretty friendly towards this. Well, we try to have an open mind. We do. And, yeah. uh, and we want to give him a chance. And even with that open mind, we both amazingly landed at the same place. This guy's. Not a joke. Sucks. <laughs> In every way possible. <laughs> yep. And that, that was that about after, sums it up. That was after we gave him a fair shake. Yeah, right. Right. Had to do that. I mean, he's Ups. the president. Got 81 million votes. Woo! Guy's super, super popular. Pat Gray Unleashed. Gray is here on the Blaze Radio Network. Thanks for being with us. 888 900 Pat Unleashed on Twitter, Instagram, threads. Uh, word Spinner tweets, a flat tax would be the most fair tax. Everybody would be paying their fair share uh, with everybody paid 6%. Uh, I don't know, maybe a 6%. Hmm. Uh, flat tax is what being called for. Oh, a six percent flat tax. Oh, sure, that'd be great. If... <laughs> How about we don't tax someone's ability to earn a living? How about that? That's that, immoral. That would be to good. begin with. If you yeah. want an actual fair tax, I'm not talking about. Well, I guess kind of I am. It's just a national income tax, uh, uh, sales tax. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then you're making the decision if you want to be taxed or not. Yeah, right. Grow your own food. You know, if you don't want to be taxed, build your own fill in the blank. If you don't want to be taxed. Yeah, the thing about the fair tax is. Um, it only applies to brand new items. Brand new items, yeah. So if you buy a new car, you pay the tax. If you buy a used... Hmm? Oh, my magic muffins are done. Oh, good. I'm hungry. If, if you buy a used car, uh, you don't pay the tax. Right. If you buy a brand new house that was just built, then you pay the tax. If you buy a house that existed already, you don't pay the tax. Simple already, as that. It's already been taxed. Pretty easy. Mm -hmm. uh, but 6%, <laughs> that is nowhere near what they mm -hmm. would charge. Uh, six percent no. would be. I'd be all over this thing yeah. if it was a six percent <laughs> tax. Uh, but they initially talked about twenty three percent, which was, you know. But if you the have tax, all yeah. your income, you know, and you don't have to pay Social Security, Medicare, you don't pay income tax, none of that. Uh, the only thing you might have to pay is state tax. I don't know if states would 
you know, maybe you abolish the state tax as well, income tax. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. So you have all of your income. Your gross is your net. If that's the case, 23% is not that bad, right? I mean, you could you could afford that. Uh, but then they started saying, eh, we might have miscalculated. Oh, no. Keith yeah, it might be, might be 33%. Mm. Wait, what? Or it might be some people think it's even higher than that. Uh, no. No, thank you. But what's it worth to not have to actually do your taxes every oh, April? It would be so great. There's a cost built into that, too. But... Eliminate the IRS, then come to me about the flat tax. If you can really eliminate the IRS, then definitely I'm on board. Mm -hmm. Let's eliminate the IRS first. Uh, Because what you would probably wind up with, I've always believed, because I'm a little bit cynical after Mm -hmm. all these years. I don't know what makes me that way, but uh, (laughs) what would happen is you'd wind up with both. Yeah. You'd wind up with the income tax from the IRS, and you'd get the the fair tax as well. Not good. (sighs) Not good. Not good. Uh, Carl Smith tweets, apparently in our new enlightened world, it's okay for a male president to admire another male's biceps, as opposed to telling a female reporter, nice snoobs. (laughs) Of course, wait a minute. I think Joe's done. He's kind of done that too. He covers the whole spectrum. But you're right. If he walked up to a reporter and said, hey, nice snoobs. You got great snoobage. You should. I wish my wife had snoobage like that. You know, then, yes, that would be a problem. But he can feel up the men and uh, tell them how hot they are and they should have played football. Uh, That's fine. Mm -hmm. Nobody even talks about it. Well, except us. Uh, Whitey McCracker (laughs) tweets, Pat, don't worry. The healthcare industry will once again make sure there's a COVID uptick. No, there already is. Have you not seen our chart? Look at the chart. Where's the Show them. Need to wake up, Whitey McCracker. (laughs) Look at this. You see that little see it? blip on the far, the far right? far right? Look at that. That is called an uptick. That yeah. is the legal definition of an right? uptick. And that was from July 26th. Imagine what it must look like by now. Oh, no. I think You are no. a pandemic. Oh. Thank you. No, that's actually, I think, the, the last date they put up there was July 26th, but that's the latest uh, Oh, is that the chart. latest? Okay. I mean, that all right. covers all the way. Whew. Frightening. We're, Still frightening. It's uh, the website. People have been asking, what's my source for that? It says on the corner there, it's worldometer or worldometer.com. They've got all sorts of graphs there, and that is the latest COVID at worldometer.com. Worldometer.com. I like it. Uh, Michael Parks tweets, is anyone reporting on an increase of strokes in older Americans due to the shots? Nope, they don't want to know. They don't want to know. Yeah, we had a couple more died suddenly over the weekend, too. Mm, Man, seems like every day, uh, certainly every other day, we we have another story about somebody who died suddenly, and there seems to be no explanation. Nobody knows the cause of death. There's no way to tell. It's like the metric system. Uh, Roxanne tweets, we have paid for the border wall slash fence ten times over. The money went to D.C. pockets. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's, that's how you get uh, rich men north of Richmond. Right, right, right. Uh, by the way, Watch any football over the weekend? College football Mm -hmm. is back. Oh, man. So great. Mm. That's actually for the NFL. Oh. You know, but. Oh. And all right. (laughs) (laughs) On the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field, Bronco Nagurski prepared for the second half action. After having lost his left eye, oh, his what? right arm, Whoa, wait. and both of his legs in the first half. What happened? Bronco crawled out for the second half action <laughs> with his right arm pulling his upper torso <laughs> all the way to the action. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. Bronco Nagurski. <laughs> Legend. Uh, really, for sure. The guy was tough. Guy was tough. I yeah. mean, he was tough as nails. I, I, it's, <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta give kudos to the Dallas Cowboys for a very class move over the weekend. They, first of all, they they made a trade uh, on Friday to get Trey Lance <laughs> from the 49ers. Oh wow! Trey Lance had fallen to the third string position there for San Francisco. Mm. Keep in mind, I had to look this up. I couldn't believe it. So they, they made the trade with the Dolphins back uh, a couple years ago, 
and they got so so they got the number three pick. The 49ers did. They used to take Trey Lance. They gave up their twelve number twelve pick. Okay. They also gave up their first rounder in twenty twenty two. Their third rounder in 2022, oh. and their first rounder in 2023. And all this to get tr- uh, Trey, Trey Lance. Lance. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. So they moved up nine spots, but gave up two first rounders oh. and a third. <laughs> oh man. Um, and and but that's okay. They got from Dallas. They got a fourth rounder for Trey Lance. Oh. To make it all oh, better. All right. Well then, everything's fine. Yeah. For but, the 49ers. Right. So the Jeez. class move was that the current third stringer uh, for the Cowboys was a guy. First string in, is Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott. Second, Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush. And, and then third stringer was Will Greer. Oh, boy. And they said, hey, Will, um, we're going to make this trade, but mm. we want you to have basically a job interview for 31 other teams. So on Saturday night, Dak's going to call the plays. You're going to play the entire game. Oh. And boy, did he take advantage of he that. Lit he, lit he lit it up. He lit it up. And I guarantee you they're like, uh, is it too late to rescind that trade? Uh, Will Greer ended up going 29 for 35. So oh, my gosh! Completed 83% of his passes, threw for 305 yards. Oh, he literally did light it up. Two touchdown passes. I thought you were being sarcastic. Yeah, two touchdown oh, passes. Uh, but he accounted for... He was involved in all four of the touchdowns. Uh, I think he, he must have run <laughs> the other awesome. two in. Awesome. Uh, yeah, he Jeez. ran the other two in. <laughs> and QB rating, Pat, of 122, which is very, very high. So yeah. hopefully Will Greer will land somewhere. Wow. And uh, he did himself a big favor. Nice job by the Cowboys, though, letting him go out yeah, and play that's that cool. whole game. That's really cool. That's but I'm ready a, for football, man. Act. We had what? Notre Dame played Navy. Oh. Sort of. Was it a close uh, game? I mean, Notre Dame played. Navy didn't play that oh, much. No. Uh, 42 to 3. Okay. So which, that's... of course, is your, if you remember, is not as bad a beating as BYU gave him back in 2020, which was 55 to 3. Totally remember that. Which means BYU would beat. Notre Dame by 13. So, so that's what that means. But those rosters are like three or four years removed. <laughs> yeah, it's a, is kind of the thing. Sh- you don't want uh-huh. to think about it too much. So we have college football now. Week zero yeah. is done. Uh huh. And so week one is officially upon us for college football. So coming up Thursday, we've got a couple uh-huh. of games. Okay. Are they doing a double header on Thursday or are these two different networks? I think they're competing. I think they're the same okay. time. All right. So Florida, Utah, uh, Utah hosts. Florida. Yeah, I think that's on ESPN. They went to Gainesville last year, got their uh, asses kicked. <laughs> uh, so when it's when it involves the Utes, <laughs> it's no longer anus. <laughs> <laughs> so they host them. That'll be fun to watch them get waxed again on their on their home field at uh, uh-huh. Rice Eccles there. And then Nebraska plays Minnesota. Is yeah. that in Lincoln or is that in Minnesota? That's in Minnesota, and okay. that game's on Fox, like local Fox TV. Hmm. All right. And then on uh, Saturday, of course, BYU plays uh, the mighty Sam Houston State Bearcats. Where's that game? In Provo? It's in Provo. Oh. Yeah. That, it was one of those, you know, we, we'll pay you a million dollars to come here and get crushed. That One of those kind of deals. Oh, what's fun is when Nebraska plays <clears throat> uh, or pays... Uh, seemingly inferior like opponents. Like Troy? A million dollars. Was it Troy that beat him a few years yeah, ago? Yeah, and then they come to Lincoln. and then they... <laughs> That's not fun. Like, hey. When you pay them $1.2 or $1.5 million, and they, they come and they beat you. And uh, then, that's then you have good. to write the check. Oh, that feels good, right? <laughs> <laughs> thanks for... Where do I sign? Yeah, okay, thanks for coming. Good. Here's your check. Get out of here. Not good. <laughs> also, the NFL preseason is, is over. Yeah, it's over now, so... Starts a week from Thursday, the actual... Yep. Regular season, just a week from Thursday. So this is a great time of year. Now it doesn't feel like that weather-wise mm-hmm. in uh, Texas, although yesterday was pretty nice. Oh, we had that cold front come through. Got some rain for yeah. a change. Uh, the high was only 95, something, 97, somewhere in there. That's good, right? But I got about we got about five minutes worth of really serious Torrential. rain. Yeah, yeah it just Needed came down it badly. Like crazy. But yeah. Well, I want to give you some hope, actually. Uh, Please do. The Farmer's Almanac. Uh, Farmer's Almanac has come out with the... Uh, the wintertime uh, prediction here. Oh, and are Did we, we going to be? This? I know we talked about it off air. So look at there. There's oh, your... I like that. Look at that. Everywhere colder than normal. Unseasonably cold and stormy Across for Texas. South. Yeah. Wow. And then it's going to be average cold. Go back to no, the full no, shot. Everything, full screen, everything's cause... colder than than. Uh, okay. Right. Cold. Uh, average snowfall. Midwest for the Midwest and. Mm-hmm unseasonably oh no seasonably cold and wet for the uh, northwest <laughs> look at the uh, mid-atlantic frosty flaky slushy all right <laughs> okay i don't know who's coming up with these descriptors cold and snowy up in the uh, new england states cold and stormy 
and of uh, course, upper Great Lakes. That's all because of climate change. Chilled. That's why that's happening. How about that? Mm-hmm. Chilled, wet. I know that Southeast. goes without saying, of course, but uh-huh. that's because of global warming. It's due to climate change. Climate, climate yeah. change. Don't call it global warming. It's climate change. Yeah, because that wouldn't okay. apply to this map. Right. They finally realized right. that. Hey, <laughs> hey, wait. Public relations department. <laughs> Y'all need to fix that. Sometimes people think that doesn't make sense Uh when it's colder than normal and you're calling it global warming. I don't know why they don't think it makes sense, but uh, let's just change it then to climate change and that... That encompasses everything. I really need that map to be accurate this winter. Yeah, me too. We we could use it. We could use it. It's been such a hot summer in Dallas. But do you remember how the spring was so nice? Mm -hmm. I mean, the spring was beautiful. Yeah, it took forever to get... The warmth here, but when it did. It, but when, when it, it did, it came with a vengeance. Uh-huh. Tired of pla- of paying three hundred dollars for AC. Oh gosh, three three hundred. Is that three hundred? Three hundred. I'm tired. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I will come. And wow, hit you. I will hit you for that. Wow, because uh, tired of paying three hundred dollars. I I know this next <laughs> bill will be six hundred because my last one I think was five forty five. Keep in mind, I, I made, was paying sixty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. 60 well, he's yes. got the solar do thing you live in and... an apartment or something no i live in a house oh, okay. with solar panels solar panels yes. yeah but okay. like my last so it one does help my barely. last one was 225 wow and i'm already calculating it's gonna be over 300 dollars this next one but keep in mind before there was a mm. joe biden presidency my mm-hmm. highest in over a decade living in this house uh, electric bill was right at 300 bucks and now it's really about to be 600 no question wow yeah. I just, I know, it's not good. Joe Biden's America sucks. <laughs> it's like we said a few minutes ago, and I, I know, you oh, know no. this sounds crazy. This is going to be one of those crazy takes. We don't like him. Oh. <laughs> we, we don't like him. Oh, you got there, though. He is not our favorite oh. president of all time. He's just not. And uh, I'm sorry, I have to be that bold. Yeah, he's not in the <laughs> top... 45. But, sure. you know, it's Monday and we're cranky, so that you know, maybe we'll, what it is. we'll feel differently tomorrow. I don't know. Uh-huh. We'll see. Sure we will. Uh, but the recent upturn in COVID-19 cases in some regions has spurred a handful of entities around the country to reinstate mask mandates. Don't do it, y'all. Reigniting the debate over what place masking requirements have in an era of of living with the coronavirus. Now, where was that smoke story? Because that fits in quite nicely oh, okay. with the mask mandate. So why don't you want to put the uh, put the CDC COVID um, PSA uh, screenshot. There we go. So that's the CDC basically telling people in Hawaii or wherever, Montana, oh. a lot of places where there are wildfires. Don't wear a mask. It doesn't help. Yeah. It says a cloth mask <laughs> that are used to slow the spread of COVID. Yeah. Offer little protection against wildfire smoke. They don't catch the small particles found in wildfire oh. smoke that can harm your health. Pat. Oh, okay. So you need to limit your time outside when it's smoky. So uh, the internet uh, noticed uh, this this warning from the CDC, and so and they how kind of stupid it is. Yeah, they fixed the graphics. So they kept the same warning, but then mm-hmm. they showed you the size of the particles. <laughs> As you can see, CDC accidentally okay, smoke admits looks a little bigger the, than the COVID the virus. Masks are totally useless. There you go. That's amazing. So if so, in other Good words, God. if the smoke can get through your mask heaven help us then obviously coronavirus which is much 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 smaller particles can as well and by the way by all that is good right and holy the nih has Mm. quietly posted a study about masks Mm -hmm. saying that n95 masks Mm. may expose wearers to dangerous level of toxic compounds linked to seizures and cancer oh my gosh so congratulations a government solution has yet again failed <laughs> oh wait wait what's what a that surprise oh wait we have more news from uh, last week uh, that the plastic straws uh, that have been replaced by oh, yeah. paper straws not good um, for you either yeah or the, the environment yeah they're eco-friendly right yeah they contain potentially toxic chemicals which could pose a risk to people wildlife and the environment a study has found in other words if the government comes up with a solution it's Mm -hmm. wrong thank you every time our government overlords once again for your solutions to every problem because they're working magnificently (laughs) got a solution for your real estate problem (laughs) it's realestateagentsitrust.com go there get yourself a great agent it's a free service it doesn't cost anything to you we'll just we'll get you in touch with the best realtor in your area and uh, you're welcome. You're going to love this, though, because they're fans of the show. You're going to have things in common with them. It's not going to be an awkward, ugly situation as you're 
you know, driving around town looking for homes or when they come over and try to assess how much your home should sell for and what you should do with it, they'll have great advice for you. These are people who <clears throat> are successful at their job in their industry, and they'll see you through from beginning to end. So whether you're buying or selling or doing both because you're relocating, go to realestateagentsitrust.com. The name says it all. realestateagentsitrust.com. Pat Gray Unleashed. Missed an episode? Catch up anytime, anywhere podcasts are found. Pat Gray will be right back. Okay. I don't know what it's like for you where you are right now, but, well, it's got to be miserable because we're into catastrophic climate change. Mm. It's just a fact, right? I mean, we've got consensus. Look out your window. (laughs) And you'll see it. Yeah. Am I right? That's right. Who's with me? Uh, In Greece, they've, of course, been dealing with constant wildfires since the middle of July. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Terrible. Climate change. Climate change. Oh, okay. Cat, you know what? Wow, uh, that looks bad, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is That very looks bad. apocalyptic. Yeah. Only 25 people, I say only, you know, compared to what's happening in, in Hawaii, Hawaii right now. Yeah. But, but yeah, um, like you said, uh, climate change, obviously mm-hmm. the re- real reason. Mm-hmm. But uh, Cat Turd, I think, uh, pointed out uh, above one of these Grease videos, arson change. <laughs> there it is. Arson change. Uh, arson in action. change. Because that's what this is. Because they've been blaming climate change. Mm-hmm. When, in fact, how many people have been arrested? 79? 79 for arson. Uh, check this out. Oh. Well, I mean, that's just... That's a, I mean, 79 people mm-hmm. have have been arrested... Setting fires across the For country. setting fires in Greece. And this happened in Canada as well. <sighs> And, uh, and yet they still continue with the climate change BS. Yeah. What's going on in Hawaii, by the way, Pat? It's like a media blackout. Oh, erecting fences, limiting yeah. drones from flying they, they over. They barricaded things while right. the fires were going on well, yeah. so people couldn't even escape. Turned off the water. Didn't siren weird. You know, fire up the sirens. Weird. And now they've got these weird police cars and these videos that people are pointing out. And, and I go back and check them. I'll bookmark some, and then I'll go back mm-hmm. and check them. And they've been taken down. YouTube is removing this stuff. They don't want to hear the stories God. of people saying that, that baseball-sized fireballs were were flying ahead of the fire that, as it approached at 50 to 70 miles an hour. I mean, this is Weird. A very strange. Something is going on here. And then there was a lady in Maui. Okay. Uh, they discussed the situation. Mm. So today, I haven't had any money come in. I haven't had anybody call me back. I didn't have anything. I, I have no idea. I lost my house. I lost my car. I lost my animals. I mean, come on, man. We're not getting anything. Till today, I still didn't get my meds. I cannot get my meds yet. My, med- my medicine was all burnt in my house. Oh, my man. rent money was all that. burnt in my house. Rent money. Oh. I have no money anymore. I think Joe Biden should it's take his $700 and get back on the plane and go home. No. That's what I think. Because $700 uh-huh. compared to all the millions he's giving to, to Ukraine. Billions. Why? Billions. We need it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why we don't understand why. We're citizens and we cannot yep. get money. But if they're Gosh. not citizens, they get gazillions of dollars from the USA. Where where are where's our government? Mm-hmm. Fix your house before you fix somebody else's house. This is how like your community, other Hawaiians you know, locals, indigenous people, is that how they feel pretty much how you feel? Everybody feels that way. Come on. That's why the local people stick together and we help our own people because we know the outside people are not gonna do it. Mm. So she wants uh, Joe Biden to take his seven hundred dollars mm-hmm. get back on the effing plane. Boy. Beat it. But you know, Hawaii is one mm. of those states that you don't even look at on election night. You know how it's going to go. Yeah, I but wonder it, if that's still the case. I wonder. I'll bet it is. I'll bet it is. You think they'll go? I blue think by regardless? next year they'll be like, "Well, can't vote for Trump, so let's keep oh Biden." Gosh. That's what it's going to be. You just reminded me of a tweet uh, that <clears throat> Joe just put out. I don't know if you can see this, but listen to this. You know, my dad used to say, "Don't compare me to the Almighty. Compare me to the alternative." So tonight, compare me to the alternative and then donate. And then there's a link you can click. So I think what he's saying is, what, 
Trump is the devil and you should now donate to my campaign? Is that what he's trying to say? God, wow, know. that's a... You run on that one, Joe. Yeah. But my gosh, $3,100, uh, someone did the math uh, on average. The average family in Ukraine has received an assistance from the United States. 3100 Yeah. Now, that's, uh, that, that, that's to the families. Wow. That's not to the government. That's like direct assistance from your paycheck to a Ukrainian household. Somebody did the math on uh, the... Uh, the, I don't know. I think it was the 20, it was 25 billion that had gone to uh, Ukraine recently in humanitarian aid. Uh, if you gave that instead to the Hawaiian residents with 50,000 of them, <sighs> it would average 500,000 per family, according to the article. I, I didn't do the actual math, but it that... sounds, I mean, that's incredible. And these people, is that have... incredible? And instead, they're getting $700, yeah. period. In a mile from Lahaina this weekend, there was another fire. They did get under control, but it just never ends there. Right, it, right. It's it's. Um, oh, and by the way, you've got to point out that the people that disobeyed the government, mm-hmm. the people that went around barricades, the people that ignored orders, survived. Those were the survivors. Let that be yeah. in the back of your mind for anything that comes up in your life. Do the opposite of what the government is telling you to do. They actually stopped people from fleeing. The fire. Why? So many questions. Why would you do that? Why? I I mean, it's incredible. Uh, I don't know. And we got this laser thing that's so weird. Mm-hmm. Uh, people talking about how lasers started it. Blue lasers. Yeah. And blue lasers don't start blue things on fire. And they show these videos with all the blue things that survived that the fire. That explains the starting of them, but I don't yeah. understand the burning afterward. Right. That's, that's exactly right. This is the right. weirdest thing ever, man. More coming up. This is Pat Gray Unleashed. Hey, Pat. Uh, some sad news to report. Uh, Joe Wurzelbacher. You know him more likely as Joe the Plumber. Mm. Uh, he has passed away uh, <sighs> after a long battle with cancer. Really sad. Very sad. Uh, his friend Dan Silvers made sure we were aware. And, and Joe was mm. actually on with Glenn a few weeks ago. Uh, oh, that's right. And, and the audience, mm-hmm. Blaze family, you guys are incredible, raised over $90,000 in support of the family. And mm. um, and Joe uh, succumbed to cancer, surrounded by family, Saturday night. For those who may not remember, Joe the plum- Plumber was the person that uh, Barack Obama was saying, I believe that when you redistribute the wealth, mm. it's good for everybody. So, we, I mean, that was one of the Marxist indicators. Yes. He got elected anyway, but um, Joe the Plumber, uh, be missed. Yeah, by all accounts, a great guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another person who died... Uh, Bob Barker died over the weekend. What happened there? Struck down Wait, what? Uh, at just 99 years old. What, what happened Prime there? Prime of his life. What happened? What happened he, there? What happened there? Uh, no. Oh. No, oh, wow. Man, what a staple in mm-hmm. every American house. Am I right? You're right. I mean, this is why you would skip sc- um You were sick every day. Yeah, uh, right. When you were sick, it was, was really sick. fun to turn on the TV and there he was. Mm-hmm. It's really true. I mean, for generations. Oh, absolutely. Because we're, what, 15, 14, 15 years apart? I, I did that. You did that. Absolutely. I it's mean, amazing. He's connected that. to my Challenger yeah. memory because uh, I was watching The Price is Right when Dan Rather broke in to tell us about the Challenger exploding. Oh, and, yeah. But, but Bob Barker, it's just, man. An icon. An icon. Remember this scene from uh, <laughs> Happy Gilmore? Oh, yeah. This is fun. I don't want a piece of you. I want the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> I, this is just so great. <laughs> he didn't take himself seriously, you know? No, he didn't. <laughs> so great. Adam Sandler. Now you're going to get it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, you no. hate to see that. You do. Because they were getting along so well before. Yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the price is wrong, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh, oh boy. boy. I mean, Bob is tough. Yeah. I think you you've had enough. <laughs> no? <laughs> now you've had enough. Bitch. <laughs> Bob Barker. Not a bad actor, either. What an awesome guy. Uh, yeah. He'll be missed as well. Uh, really, I mean, He lived a long life, mm -hmm. so still, you don't want to lose him. Uh, but we did. Yeah. Uh, 888 900 Also, Pat Unleashed on Twitter. Uh, we had something else that I didn't hear that I thought Oh, John Kerry? Yes, the oh John Kerry gosh. thing. Yes. You're going to vomit. Oh, my gosh. Here's a guy. Here's a climate change crusader who's flying all over the world right now and yapping about climate change. Mm -hmm. You talk about the ultimate gaslighting. It's yeah. this clip here. Without facts or economics on their side, they flatly deny climate what deniers. is happening to our planet climate and deniers. what we must do to save it. Okay, like me and They you. incite a movement mm -hmm. against what they falsely label climate change fanaticism. <laughs> Oh, As they falsely label it? Forget that the dictionary definition oh of a cult is the dismissal of facts in devotion to a lie. Which is what you're doing. <laughs> and while they refuse to accept the facts behind oh increasingly obvious damages, which the first minister listed, they lash out at the truth tellers instead <laughs> and label indisputable evidence. Pause it. He is doing the perfect yep. example of they accuse us yep. of everything they are doing. Exactly right. They are the hysterical people that are in hysterics nonstop, giving inaccurate facts, telling outright, flat-out lies, and trying to whip people into a frenzy yeah. over climate change being catastrophic and man-caused right now. It's truly enraging. It's bad it, enough it that is. these Marxists push their policies forward, come hell or high water. Yep. It's another... When they completely gaslight us and they're like, oh my gosh, look at what they're doing over there. When mm -hmm. it's exactly what they're doing every time. Exactly. To, all right, let's see if we can finish this. Oof, <laughs> no guarantees. Evidence as hysteria. Uh, oh, that period. was it? Oh, okay. They compound the already difficult yeah, challenge of the climate crisis right. by promising to do more of exactly what created this crisis. That's in the exactly first place. right, Judd. That's what we're doing. So now, so now, humanity, humanity is inexorably threatened inexorably. by humanity itself. By those seducing people into buying into a completely fictitious alternative oh my reality gosh, this where is we them. don't exactly. need to act and we don't even need to care. Uh, yeah, well, I'm sorry that I'm not freaked out over a one-degree <laughs> temperature change in, in a hundred years. No. Sorry. I, I'm sorry. Should we rip the Band-Aid off and, and play the Kamala clip from this weekend and see which one you oh, think is, is worse? Because they're like the same thing, just different topics. Mm. Uh, you got to see this uh, Kamala clip uh, 14. Uh, go ahead and play it. There are forces that are intentionally trying to divide us as a nation. <laughs> We yeah, need to be you. clear eyed about that also. Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> so when I think about this fight, it is also a fight to to mm. unify mm. and to resist. Oh, they've done a good job of that, haven't they? The, the forces that are trying to divide us. <laughs> you know, let's not be manipulated. Oh, oh God. And let's not um, let us not be deterred. <laughs> we cannot be tired. We How cannot can you, be maybe overwhelmed. could not be a turd. How about that? <laughs> let us also in this. <laughs> A moment, understand the significance and the importance <laughs> okay. of bringing our country Pause together. It for a around. Who was it that said she speaks in rhyme? Uh, oh, it was Trump. It was Donald Trump last mm, week. Yeah. To uh, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> now she's not rhyming, but it's that kind of rhythm that yeah, she does. She almost backed herself into that. So um, bad. That line that she always uses about the distance of time or whatever she says. Oh yeah. She almost. She she had to pause there. Catch yourself. Let's but see the rest. These people suck. Let's see if we can finish this. Get all the way through a Kamala clip. The importance mm. of bringing our country together around, again, foundational principles about who we are uh -huh. as America. Mm. And I say that as Vice President of the United States. So she wants to bring us together, Pat. Yeah, she wants to bring. They've done everything they can to, to bring us together, haven't they? They've been so unifying. This administration, she and Joe, they, they couldn't 
be any more loving to all of their opponents. Glad to see she's, you know, Al Sharpton's giving her the time of day because uh, she had gone nine days with nothing on her public schedule until she uh, greeted the WNBA Mm. champions uh, to the White House over the weekend. Don't ask me who it was. Don't who know. was it? Don't, don't. Oh, I'm sorry. You said Patrick? not to. Okay. Yeah. Put me on the spot. <laughs> so she did her cackle, and I mean, it was just one laugh after another. You can imagine. But the reason she had to do it mm-hmm. is because the old man extended his Lake Tahoe vacation and didn't get back oh, in right. time. Right. Like, so, so he just wrote off. Can you believe that? He wrote off the WNBA. I can't believe out it. Out of hand. Cannot believe it. And so she had to step up. It was like, oh, I get to do something for the first time in a week and a half? Cool. There must not be... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Must not be any trans athletes on the WNBA team. Otherwise, he'd have been there. Yeah. He'd have been there. If there were biceps to squeeze. Yeah, yep. He'd have been there. <laughs> there was hair to sniff. There I don't know why he wasn't sniff. doing that. But, okay. Whatever. How do these people have any credibility with any American? It's mind-blowing. Ah, uh, I mean, John Kerry has been lying since time began. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this, the 1972 Winter Soldier thing. They had personally raped, cut off ears, mm-hmm. cut, cut off, off heads, heads, taped wires Tape. from portable telephones the to human, human genitals, genitals and turned, and up, turned the up the power, power. cut off cut limbs, limbs, blown up bodies, blown up bodies randomly, randomly shot, shot at civilians, civilians. Raised, raised villages, villages in a fashion, fashion reminiscent of Genghis Khan, mm-hmm. shot, shot cattle, cattle and dogs, dogs for fun, fun and poisoned food stocks, oh, I forgot the food and stocks. generally and ravaged, ravaged the countryside of South Vietnam. Vietnam. Uh, but look at the way the countryside of South Vietnam was dressed. It deserved to be ravaged. That's a fact. Hmm? I, I don't know. I mean, all of that was proven was proven not to be accurate. It was a lie. He'd heard it third hand from people in many cases weren't even in Vietnam ever who'd never gone there. So and then the, he yeah. just reports it to the world. A liar repeated lines from li- liars. How does he have any credibility now? Now we're supposed to buy everything he says about climate change, and we're the ones who are uh, spewing lies all the time. Wow, jeez. They never cease to amaze, do they? It's incredible the depths that they they uh, they stoop to. Mm-hmm. Also, pushing not in addition to the climate change, of course, okay. almost equal now, the COVID nineteen upturn. Man, do they want to make this stick? Oh, they they can't wait to reinstate mask mandates. Oh yeah. Uh, and you know, if we haven't learned our lesson by now about the mask mandates and we're just not going to do it then we probably deserve what we get yep earlier this week hollywood movie studio lionsgate asked its employees to wear masks on certain floors of its facility (laughs) in santa monica (laughs) okay uh because a few other staff members tested positive for covid19 kaiser permanente began to require staff patients and visitors to wear masks at its facility in Santa Rosa, California. Yeah, update on that one. Uh, enough people were saying no to Kaiser Permanente in Santa Rosa. Yeah. That they rescinded that order there. Oh, they did? Yeah, they got a little pushback. Nice! And that one's already off the books. That's what we're saying. That's how you do it. Don't capitulate. Schools, including Rutgers in New Jersey yeah. and Morris Brown College in Georgia, have issued mask mandates for their campuses. With the Atlanta-based school reinstating masks as a two-week precautionary measure. It's just, <laughs> kids, Where it's just we two weeks this? to flatten the curve. That's all we're doing. No, 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 Pat, no. Yeah. I'm not going to let you get away with this. Okay. Okay. It's 14 days. Okay, to flatten the curve. Yeah, not two weeks. Okay. So Four, don't try to days. change what they said. Sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, this is just obscene. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene spoke out against the news from the college, writing on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. Americans <laughs> have had enough COVID hysteria. We will not comply. Good for her. Yeah, well. Good for they her. Better not. Better not. Yeah, I am curious, though, how long these media outlets are going to continue to write out um, so-and-so mm-hmm. uh, posted on X. Yeah, I don't. The the site formerly known as Twitter. How long yeah, are you going to keep long? doing that? 
Years, probably. <laughs> Years. Uh, but yeah, and by the way, uh, new Texas law starts September 1st. Uh, here, uh, obviously in Texas, banning local governments from acquiring masks, oh. vaccines, and shutdown mandates. Good. So good. That's not going to stop your private businesses, though. So. Uh, speaking of Kentucky, though, in two school districts in eastern Kentucky have made the decision to cancel in-person classes already <laughs> due to a surge in illnesses. All right. <laughs> not even COVID nineteen necessarily. <laughs> But it includes COVID-19, respiratory viruses, and strep throat okay. among students and staff. So they just closed down the school. Have you ever seen that happen before? No, I Other have than not. COVID? Nope. I've, never see, I've never heard of that. Mm-mm. I'm sorry. we got a lot of people that eh, got strep throat and stuff, and one or two that got COVID. We're going to shut it all down. Shut it down. No? Okay. Uh, Lee County's attendance rate dropped from 82%. To get this. Oh, no, 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 don't do it. It's just a precipitous decline. So 82%. It went from 82% all the way down to 81%. So the attendance. And it only school. took a week for that to happen to go down a full, not a partial, but a full 1%. I see. All right. So Can you even go. count that high? Here no, we go. I'm, I'm going to try I'm, it. Yeah, I'm a bad example. I'm going to try. try it. Um, so you start at zero. Okay. And then the next... And then the, the next... I don't know. Number... I, I really don't know. One. Oh, is it... There that? it was. Yeah. It took a while, though, didn't it? Yeah, it sure took did. a long time. So... So from 82 to 81 percent... That's like a joke! Accompanied by 14 staff members being absent. Mm. Uh, so the school district responded by sanitizing all businesses and buses, canceling student activities all week, and uh, shifting to okay. remote learning in-person classes. Uh, oh, in-person classes are are set to resume next week, but I'll bet I bet they postpone that too. <laughs> this is just madness. Yeah. And meanwhile, Hollywood's getting in the spirit of this. No thing. good. I love it when they get in yeah. the spirit of stuff. Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> has been urging fans to mask up. Look at that. That's so dumb. Oh, she has a cute little mask that's that so looks dumb. like part of a face. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, okay. So that's good. Good. Right. Jamie Lee Curtis. So she the took mask. to Instagram to share that selfie and of course, it's a Michael Myers mask over her mouth. Mm. Before offering up a public service announcement in a caption beneath the snap, and we're back. Yes. No, not Michael Myers, but masking will be. Ugh. COVID is on the rise. So many friends now are really sick. Ugh. Be mindful. Wear a mask if required. It, or even if you feel unwell and are out in public spaces. <sighs> Okay. No. No. That's a negative. Yeah, no. So you can go back to making videos about your trans kids. At least one person responded. Nice propaganda post. Mm -hmm. Election season must be approaching again. Do not yep. comply. Yep, election year uh, like flu is back in effect. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, you're going to have to stand up at Pathetic. these places. Your place is a business where your kids go to school. And it's, just say no. It's going to be up to you. Just say it's no. going to be up to you. Can we play the video of the nurse who got a heads up last week at her job at her hospital? Uh, about, was it a Kaiser Permanente or I don't something think, else? Uh, yeah, I don't know that it was. <laughs> okay. But uh, it's very important because you're going to, this next week, these next two weeks, I guarantee you, you're going to have similar conversations at your own place of business. And you've got to have an answer ready to go before mm. you're put in this position. So this nurse is telling us what's happening at her hospital. It's going to happen at your place, too. I work for a large <laughs> hospital system in Broward County, Florida, mm. on the anesthesia team. Florida. Last night, the house nurse mm. manager came to my department and told us that we must prepare for a COVID crisis that's going to start next week. Wait. And How do they know when it's going to start? Huh. Huh. Interesting, right? Taking yeah. Part of our recovery unit, anesthesia recovery unit, to mm -hmm. house COVID patients. Mm -hmm. And that we should, that we cannot allow surgical patients' families mm. to come visit them, which we do pre and post surgery, pre and post anesthesia. 
Right. And I looked at her and I said, no. Hmm? How do you know we're going, you're going oh, to good. need oh, good. our, our rooms, mm -hmm. our bays. Okay. And how do you know there's going to be a crisis next week? <laughs> good question. She tilted down her glasses. Down. She looked at me and she said, you know what's going on by now. Huh? And I said, yeah, huh. wow. I do. And everyone else just went, oh. Here we go again, and really? shrug their shoulders. Oh boy, that's... Does anyone else find this really strange besides me? Wow, what a forceful response. It's about time that yeah. this whole corrupted, stinking system is brought down. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because I'm really hating my job right now. Mm -hmm. I can't stand this corruption anymore. Please share. Yeah. Wow. So her her coworker said, "Oh, here we go again." Not the right response. Uh, no, it's Americans not. are going to have to learn the phrase "civil disobedience" very soon. Mm. That's not my concern. I will not comply. Try yeah. that. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm, I'm not sheep. Uh, I'm not your little lamb. <laughs> I will not comply. How do you like that? Get ready. But here. they want us to comply in all things. Uh, we're supposed to roll over and play dead for the mask mandate, for the shutdown mandate. We're supposed to comply on the pronoun nonsense. Uh, don't you dare disagree with anything we're doing or we will cancel you and you won't have a job and you won't you won't be able to feed your family. Um, Carlos Santana just uh, had some things to say about about the trans related situation that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. On Friday, he posted this on Facebook. Well, well, first, before that, uh, he, he um, had some thoughts about the trans people. Okay. Right? So he shared yeah. those at a concert on Thursday. Oh, yes. And then he got blowback. So watch the video here. All right. Oh, you're lying your ass up. God made you and me before we came out of the womb. You know who you are. God and made what you. you are. Hmm. Okay. Later on, when you grow up and you see things and you start believing hmm. that you could be something that <laughs> it sounds good. Sounds good. But you know it ain't right. Because a woman is a woman and a man is a man. Oh, oh, oh bro. Oh my. What have you done? A woman is a woman and Whatever a, and a man is a man. In the closet, oh that's my. your business. That's your no. business in the closet. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I am like this with my brother Dave Chappelle. All right. Holy cow. So I guess there was some uh, minor uh, pushback, so he felt compelled to go to Facebook. dare you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so then he said... Uh-huh. I'm sorry for my insensitive oh, comments. God. They don't reflect uh, that I want to uh, honor and respect all persons, <laughs> ideals, and beliefs. Okay. I realize that what I said hurt people, and that was not my intent. I sincerely apologize to the transgender community and everyone I offended. Santana went on to mention that his personal goal is to, quote, honor and respect all persons' ideas. Well, you already said that. Whether they are LGBTQ mm -hmm. or, or not. Okay. This is the planet of free will. Mm. No, not the whole planet. Um, this is the planet of free will, and we have all been given this gift. I will now pursue this goal to be happy and have fun and for everyone to believe what they want and follow your heart's Without fear, it takes courage to grow and glow in the light that you are and to be true, genuine, and authentic. We, we grow and learn to shine our light with love and compliments. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, cool. Then, 12 hours later, <laughs> his apology was deleted from Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man, figure so, out where you land on this, man. Yeah, yeah. And then stick to it. Yeah. Have yeah. the giblets to see it through. But every time anybody gets a little uh -huh. feedback on 
on Twitter that's yeah. not entirely positive. <gasps> oh my gosh, they got a cave. Could it yeah. be another Neo scenario where the publicist decided to just publish something? Mm. Because we had that mm. happen two weeks that's ago. That's interesting, yeah. Yeah, maybe. That's a good thought. That's a good thought. Now, we have yeah. another rock star that we'll get mm. to in overtime who is also getting blowback for comments made about the trans community. Uh-oh. So we'll have to visit that one. Uh-oh. Hey, before we go, can you inform us um, what the latest uh, home appliance, Pat, that the Joe Biden administration is going to take from us? Um, Yeah, it's an important one. Okay, because we got to save the planet, uh, you know. It's a ceiling fan. Yeah, your ceiling fan. Yeah, is... We're, they're coming now for yeah. your ceiling fan. Okay. And Democrats, of course, will all say, Oh, that's absurd! That is ridiculous! <laughs> as the... Uh, as the... Uh, as the administration has sent people to physically remove your ceiling fan <laughs> from your ceiling, they'll be saying, that's not happening at all. These Republicans oh. are out of control. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, it's us. It's the Republicans out of control. We'll see you again tomorrow and on Overtime today. This is Pat Gray Unleashed.